Hi, and thanks for watching. This is the first of a five-part micro course on building a style arsenal. A style arsenal is just my word for a collection of assets built from one or more building blocks. And when you design a style arsenal, it adds a unified look to your illustration or project. If you're new to Affinity Designer or if you're a, a pro, I think you'll pick up some useful tips and ideas about how to uh, maximize Affinity Designer for your illustration needs. In part one, I'm going to use this photograph of a felt tip marker stroke and create four building block elements from which we'll create our entire style arsenal. For your designer brushes, you're going to want a black background. Um, and uh, once you've done that, you can take your scan or your photograph and turn it to black and white using the adjustment layers and then I take the levels adjustment layer and crank up the black and then crank down the white. You can be, um, you know, discerning about how, how much detail you want to lose or keep. I like that. I'm going to keep it about there. Um, that's going to be the basis for um, both brushes. Make a copy of that one. Delete the master. And um, you're going to take and uh, rasterize that first one just to apply all of the... Um, adjustment layers, make them permanent. For the designer brush, we're going to add a levels adjustment layer, and we're gonna slide the white level past the black level so that you get a reversed brush stroke. And you can adjust it to see how much of the detail you wanna keep. And when we're happy with that, close it down, and I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this and rasterize those effects just to be done with the, um, make those changes permanent. Now we're going to actually make copies of these brushes, um, but we're going to make a change. So we'll go to um, Pixel Persona, and we're going to make some copies, and then we're going to shorten the strokes and erase the middle because we want to have some repeating brush strokes. And to do that, smaller bits uh, are better. So I'm just going to delete the middle with the selection tool and then drag one end until it's over the other end. <laughs> and you can rotate it if you don't like how it is exactly. But again, these are from the same stroke and so they're gonna fit together. Looks like I've got a little bit of a halo there. So um, you can use your eraser tool and erase that or, or a selection and delete it, whatever you like to do. Got some hairlines around those selections, so clean that up. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna make a copy add an adjustment layer, a levels adjustment layer, slide the white and black past each other to inverse that brush. And then we're gonna take that into Export Persona. In Export Persona, it's just a matter of making some slices and naming them uniquely. So I'll start with the, the uh, designer brushes and then the pixel persona brushes. And then in the slices panel, just give them some names that helpful. Save them to your desktop. And I do like to edit the boxes appropriately to, to uh, fit. To do that, just click on the middle of your, your slice and then grab the borders of the frame and scooch them in. Since we'll be exporting multiple slices at once, just tick the boxes next to each of the slices and then hit the export slices button at the bottom of the slice palette. Okay, that's a wrap on part one. In part two, we're going to take our four basic elements and build some brushes in both designer and pixel mode. So stay tuned.